I'm starting No Shave November a month early. What? Yummy. What is up, everybody? Now, I'm going to be playing some Minecraft today. I know this is a little off schedule. Normally, people don't expect this out of me. They expect Black Ops or, or Modern Warfare 3. And uh, I just decided not to play that today because, actually, I really haven't been playing any Xbox games at all. I've just been on Minecraft 24-7. So I'm going to actually build what I normally build uh, offset. And I'm going to start building it, and you can try to figure out what I'm actually building. So that's cool. And I also get to answer your guys' questions. Also, if you haven't seen Burgasm Land, you will see it very soon. Burgasm Land should be on Machinima Realm very soon. I'm hoping you guys will love it immensely. Now, I've already built for Machinima Realm. If you haven't seen that video, you can totally check it out. But I've actually built what I'm supposed to build, and it's in my Dropbox. It will be there soon. It shall be awesome. But we're going to go play some Burtlandia today. It shall be wonderful. And uh, I, I, I left off with Cool Dude and, you know, the pirate ships and what's not. Now I'm actually going to start building about right here. I'm going to build some stuff off of this deck. And I think it shall be wonderful. I think, I think you shall enjoy it immensely. So, I'm going to need some spruce wood. I'm going to need some... Where are they? I do not remember what shit is. Stuff is. I don't know why I gave myself 64. I'm in creative. Um, <laughs> okay. And... I'll need bottom tiles. Now, I'm going to answer your guys' questions as I'm building. So, uh, just enjoy my multitasking. Alright, so the first question comes from... Because I wrote it up here because I'm awesome. I'm wonderful. It comes from Fiery Chicken Gaming. And he says, Bert, where did you get your puppy. Now, I actually had a friend post um, a litter that she had on uh, Facebook, and uh, we have this, I don't know, I don't know if it's everywhere, but for us, we have these little fan groups where it's like uh, animals for sale, uh, you know, like a lot for sale, and then there's like, what else is there? God, you can pretty much buy anything off these little fan pages, and I'm I'm fans with like almost every single one of them because I'm a nerd. I mean, look look behind me. You see all the Coca Cola signs? Yeah. Where do you think I get those? I'm a loser, and I enjoy it. So yeah, uh, she posted, and I was friends with her, and I really didn't know her. It's one of those friends that I know, but I didn't know. Um, she posted a litter that uh, was an accident. It was said he was an accident. Uh, the dog got out of her cage and uh, started to. Uh, <laughs> And had puppies. Uh, there was all different colors. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the litter. You're looking at it right now. It's adorable. I don't even know which one Sadie is. It's just she's in there somewhere. And then uh, she posted a photo when they were ready. They were about five weeks. And uh, we had just lost our dog. I've talked about Ellie. She passed away when uh, me and Aviator Gaming and Tyson, uh, our Big Mac, uh, left for uh, Walt Disney World. And torn uh, not tornado, but there was a tornado. Uh, a hurricane came in and ruined that for us. And we were considering going home. Then my mother called me saying that Ellie had passed away. So we headed home. So um, about a month later, we considered trying to introduce a new, uh, you know, a dog into our uh, life. And this was the biggest dog we knew we'd be getting because she's a Labrador. She's a Labrador retriever, half-blood retriever, half-blood Labrador. So we knew she'd get big. And she's getting big. It's impressive how big she's getting. Uh, I love her to death, though. So, uh, yeah, that's how I got, I got, I got my Sadie. I'm very proud to have her in my life. And I know how much you guys enjoy, uh, seeing Sadie every now and again. Sadly, you will not be seeing her today because it is raining like cats and dogs outside. And she, for some reason, decided to knock over a flower pot and just decided to play in it. She is black. She looks like a black lab now. So she's going to stay outside and let the rain wash her off and get her nice and clean. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, 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 you know, I showed you photos. Just be glad that I showed you adorable, cute baby photos. Because she's adorable. Okay, the next question comes from Ye old Nerds, and he says, What is the first video game that you ever played, or that you can remember? Now, there was a video game, well, it would be a computer game. My very first actual game that I ever played that I can actually remember would be a PC game. But this was, like, on a green screen computer. Because you gotta remember, I'm an old fart. You know, I'm 21 years old, so it was I was it was my dad's computer. My dad was actually a gamer before I even came around, so I thought that was really impressive. Um, he actually had a Nintendo Entertainment System, which I thought was awesome. I used to play with that and 
God, till it died about, I don't know, eight years ago it died. And we tried to fix it. God, we couldn't fix it. But it was a computer game. And I really wish I could remember what it was. But it was on an old, one of those green screened um, computers. And God, I wish I could remember that because uh, me and my brother used to play it all the time. I know he can't remember because he was way too young to remember. He barely remembers moving where we are now. We used to live somewhere else before we actually moved uh, where I live now. I live in Tuscaloosa. We used to live in a place called uh, Aniston, Alabama, or Oxford, Alabama. So, yeah, uh, my first video game, I hardly remember, but it was a game that I, 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 I can picture the screen. I can picture myself playing it, but I really just don't know the name of the game. But the game that I can actually remember, or the games I can actually remember, the first few games I actually remember uh, would be uh, uh, Duck Hunt or uh, Mega Man. I can't remember which Mega Man, though. I'd have to say five or six I remember the most. Because, uh, like I said, my dad owned a lot of games. Which, my dad's actually in Africa right now, if I haven't... I don't know if I've told you guys that yet or not. But yeah, he's in Africa. He's doing uh, training for uh, his company right now. So that's awesome. And uh, yeah, those would be my first games that I can actually remember, I guess. And the next question comes from Checkpoint King. And he says, how did you and Aviator meet? Now, me and Aviator... I've told this story before, but I completely understand y'all wanting to be told again because a lot of you are new. Because, you know, I have new subscribers. I love every single one of you. And for you that don't know Aviator Gaming, he is the main reason I am here in this YouTube community. Pretty much, if it wasn't for him, my channel would be dead. I wouldn't have any subscribers. I owe it all to him. I seriously do. And he knows that, and I am very privileged to have him as a friend. Okay, so, now we're off that sappy gay-ass story. Um, I met Aviator Gaming... Uh, because of a friend named Automatic Scotty. I had followed him on YouTube for a while, and I asked him, uh, uh, hey, what's up with this collab channel that you're a part of? And uh, he started telling me about it, and uh, he said that the main guy that was in charge of it was Aviator, uh, Aviator Vlogs at the time. He didn't actually own Aviator Gaming just yet. I actually have been with Aviator Gaming since the very beginning, but Aviator Vlogs he had before. It was a channel that he used to vlog on. He'd be riding for that YouTube cheddar, if anybody even remembers that song. So, that was lovely. And, uh, sorry, I just ate a lot of pizza and I got acid reflux. Oh, God, that didn't taste so good. Um, so, yeah, I asked Automatic Scotty, could he talk to him? And maybe I could become a part of this channel. And, uh, he said, yeah, uh, I'll talk to Avery Vlogs and see, uh, well, what he thinks about your material. Now, I've talked to Aviator Gaming since then, and he actually said originally my YouTube, ch uh, material wasn't actually really that good and he was not actually even going to talk to me but he's, he he noticed a change in my material and he said that he really wanted to try to have a part of me and uh we became friends and we've been god we've been best friends since and i can admit he has said i am his best friend and that's really illusory because i really he's my best friend too and uh that's how the youtube community became a whole with avierto gaming and Bert521, because it was Aviator Vlogs and Bert521. Now it's Aviator Gaming and Bert Gasm. Oh, Bert Gasm, I love that channel name. I know there's probably a few people out there that don't like it, but, you know, I like to give you guys your, uh, your Bert Gasm, you know? I love to make you guys uh, appreciate it. So those are the only three questions. So if you guys want to leave any more questions, you can uh, maybe kind of figure out what I'm trying to do. It's going to be a secret, and that's the reason I'm making it like this. I'm not telling you what I'm building. But you can see there is an addition to this deck. So, yes, leave your questions, and maybe I should do this more often. If you guys want to see this kind of material every other, you know, week, um, just, you know, leave a like. Let's see, because we can get uh, 200 likes. If we can get 200 likes, maybe we'll continue this uh, scenario where I build for you guys, and I answer your questions. I love answering your questions. Just leave them down there in the comments section, and, uh, yeah. Until next time, SLC and whatnot. And if you don't know what SLC stands for, well, you are new to this channel. It means sub, like, and comment. And it's lovely to meet your new face. So, yes, do that. And goodbye.